I, I find this actually unbelievable for a political leader. He says that he is not interested in, in being popular. That the oppo- he wants to be judged for his competence, his honesty, and legislative track records. Speaking at the Gleaners Editor. Uh, yeah, editor's but hear me, hear me. Who did establish all these characteristics on the Porsche Simpson Miller's regime? Nobody doubts his competence. Nobody questions his honesty. Nobody doubts his legislative track record. He doesn't establish that again. So yes, he accept everything that... Yeah, yeah, no, no, he has that. Has he has that. But that is more the Jamaican people really don't give two hoots about. That is rich if you want to be prime minister. It's not about your legislative track record, which prime minister had that in the past. It's not about your honesty. Therefore, no uh, prime minister would be corrupt or even have allegations about corrupt. And, and competence. We have competent people. When you are into a position of competing to be prime minister of Jamaica, the only political position that people vote for, you have to be concerned about popularity. I find this actually unbelievable for a political leader. Whoa, 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 whoa. Merciful Father, Jesus, Savior, pilot me. Over life, tempetuously. I pray, dear God, for my grandchildren and the next generation to come. Because of a fact, this does not sound good. Have you just listened to what Dr. Paul Ashley says about Jamaica and the way they vote? Mr. Ashley says, Mr. Mark Golden, no question about his credibility, that he is honest, that he is competent, But that will not make him be electable in Jamaica because Jamaica don't care a heck for if you're honest. But if you don't popular, you can't win. Now, let's look at what Mr. Ashley is really saying. It is so distasteful that a country don't vote because of people and their track record, they're competent, and most of all, their honesty, my viewers and my subscribers. Jamaican don't vote because of credibility, your experience, and your honesty. You could have never have, if, if it was a situation that he said, you no know, matter where you have, but honesty should be what we vote upon and it should not be popularity that we vote upon. This big old man come here to tell Jamaica people say that's not even if it's how it is now that we don't we vote for popularity and I true because the last general election that we have in Jamaica, what Mr. Go, what, what Mr. Owens did came out with a class and guess what? Everybody gone by class. Every all the PMP them to gonna buy orange class. I miss it on the mess about you for sure. You the level of thinking, the level of thinking of my people, not looking for people who are credible, who have a track record, and most of all, honesty. So when Mr. Ashley came out and speak that about Mr. Golden, not popular. So him need to be popular. Mr. Golden, there are some decent, honest people in Jamaica who is looking for honest, credible people to lead Jamaica and take us out of where we are, out of this corruption. We need, and I, 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 listen to me, we need to have a leader in Jamaica. If it's even one time in my lifetime, I would love to see it again. That a leader will come who will be honest and credible to lead the Jamaican people. Because the young people looking for examples and the people follow leaders. Let me say something to you. So it brings us to the whole conclusion of what everybody is saying. That the present government is corrupt. 
That's what Mr. Ashley is actually backing up, you know, even though it's not what he said. But when you listen to what he said, oh, Jamaica people don't don't vote on honesty. So it's clear that the Jamaica people vote in this government on dishonesty. Is it that what what do you get from it, my viewers, my supper? It play it back again. Play it back again. Do do you want me to play it back for you? Go back and listen what Mr. Paul Ashley say. These are elderly in the society who should be coming. That should be coming from your mouth in that form of way, Mr. Ashley. Mr. Ashley, that shouldn't be coming from your mouth. Even though it's the Ash reality, if we want a better Jamaica and a better so you should be saying we need to change the narrative. And although Mr. Goldie may not be popular to everybody, because I'm just come and see. A lot of people never know who Mr. Goldie was. A lot of people never know. You should be the one, Mr. Ashley, to come out and say, we need to walk away from voting for popularity, and we need to vote for people with honesty. Wouldn't that be a better message you're sending to the Jamaican public? And as a matter of fact, the whole world. Because once you come on social media, it's it's a worldwide web. Ask me if what you're saying is the truth. Actually, yes, it's the truth. The people just like gimmicks and antics. That's what they vote for. And a $10,000 and a $5,000. I want a plate of food and then go a rum bar and all this. So after that, they're not business with nothing no more. And that's the truth about the society. We're talking about chain and shackle. Those are some of the shackles we put on people. We buy out them vote with our corrupt self. And it is so distasteful, my viewers and my subscribers, that we have reached a point where people in high society, in Jamaican society, can come publicly to a forum and all angle and TVJ to speak out and say Jamaica don't care a heck if you're honest Jamaica don't care a heck if you have a good track record that's not where they want to vote for who they see they like them a voter it listen to me my I, I hope that some miracle will come for my grandchildren to live in a and a Jamaica where they don't become corrupt, covetous. I pray that that will change. But Mr. Ashley and all of those who think I know the narrative is what is there, but it needs to change, sir. And I think people should start to, they should have a requirement. We need a resume for these politicians. They should submit a resume uh, and put it in the paper all, all over that we can see. We can see they should have, the, 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 the criteria should be that they should not, certain things shouldn't be. They should not be acquainted because even some people were run back in a party who did mix up in a petra jam and all of them kind of something that once your name is marred. Whether it's or go or not, that we should be saying you should not be eligible to run for political office and to be our pal parliamentarian and to be our lawmaker we we need honest people we need honest people and that's what we should be advocating for instead of saying jamaica not care act. it should not be but it's the reality and we should change that leave a view leave your comment and we could have a dialogue how do you think jamaican should vote People who are trustworthy are people who are dishonest. I would love to hear from you. Remember to like, to share, and to subscribe to this channel, Life with Jennifer. i see you in another time. I, I find this actually unbelievable for a political leader. Says that he's not interested in, in being popular. That the open, he wants to be judged for his competence, his honesty, and legislative track record. Speaking of the cleaners, uh, uh, yeah, uh, but hear me, hear me. Who did establish all these characteristics on the Porsche Simpson Millions regime? Nobody doubts his competence. He, nobody questions his honesty. Nobody doubts his legislative track record. He doesn't establish that again. So yes, he accepts everything that... Yeah, yeah, no, no, he has that. Was he has that. But that is more the Jamaican people really don't give two hoots. About. That is zilch if you want to be prime minister. 
It's not about your legislative track record, which Prime Minister had that in the past. It's not about your honesty. Therefore, no uh, Prime Minister would be corrupt or even have allegations about corrupt. And we are competent. We are competent people. When you are into a position of competing to be Prime Minister of Jamaica, the only political position that people vote for, you have to be concerned about popularity.